What's up, everybody? Thanks very much for tuning back in. So it makes me wonder if this whole situation with the election could be capitalizing double. It's kind of like you're in Vegas and you decide to go all in on something, you know, or you go double or nothing. It's kind of like you go big, you go home, right? Think about the fact that no matter how the circumstances turn out between this election, think about the fact that maybe there's a possibility that they knew this was going to happen. In other words, that no matter what happened, there was going to be civil unrest. There, there's no doubt that there's been tampering in the election. But I'm saying just think about the fact that the powers that be, including the president, knew that these systems were easily compromised. Now it's come out, like I think everybody should know at this point, that Dominion Software, that purchased Premier, uh, Sequoia, Smartmatic, also with ESNS and Heart InterCivic, uh, what is it, 80% to 90% of the cyber vote, Heart InterCivic, electronic system software and Dominion software uh, have a multi, like just massive amount of control over the system and in multiple states. Just Dominion is 28 states in the US. And then on top of it, you see that all these different um, uh, states individually you know, they, they, there's this contradiction between federal law and state law. I think we, we see this uh, with so many things. I could bring up so many examples, one in particular on the top of my head. I'm not even going to say it right now because that's another story. Anyway, <clears throat> here's the point is that there is a massive cover up. We, we all know that. We can see that the media is conspiring with it. Um, there's a massive push for the left. And, and it's not just because of the Democrats. Everyone needs to be stop, stop being so uh, limited and, and just seeing um, that it's just limited to America, right? I mean, th this is a push for the left worldwide. This, this is bigger than, than most of you guys can possibly imagine. Some of you, my subscribers, I'd say at least a good percentage, they already know and they understand this because they see the massive push on the left, whether it's in Canada, Australia, in the UK, Europe, <clears throat> whatever, other democracies around the world. And now here we are in this situation. So here's the bottom line, right, is that Either way, they knew this was going to happen. Either way, Trump knew these systems were compromised. Either way, this happened. They, either way, they allowed this to happen. The question is, why the hell was this allowed to happen when they knew these systems were easily compromised? Why? It's beyond me. And it just seems like maybe they wanted to give us one last dog and pony show. One last Chris Angel, one last smoke and mirrors. <laughs> one last David Blaine. They gave us the magic show and they're like, yeah, y'all are going to eat it up. And that's what really happened is we're all buying into it. It doesn't mean that there's not a massive cover up and conspiracy because in my personal opinion, I think there is. But truthfully, I think what it really comes down to is the fact that they allowed this to happen. They knew this was going to happen. They allowed it. So hopefully in the next coming couple few weeks, it'll make more sense. And hopefully the federal government did their job and protected this election. Because if they didn't, then how can any of us have faith in the electoral process ever again? I don't know. I don't know. Time will tell. But uh, we shall see. Thanks very much for tuning in. If uh, you respect and agree with what I'm talking about, please like and share this video. Thank you.